Hi friends, it's Coach Danielle again. In the game of volleyball, the ball is put into play with what's known as a serve. The serve is the first contact that starts every rally. In order to keep the ball in play during volleyball, the ball cannot hit the floor. A rally is the time between the serve and the end of the play. Serving is a very important part of the game. In fact, it's one of the skills that you can control individually from start to end. There are two types of serves, the underhand serve and the overhand serve, which we will learn in this video. We'll begin by learning to serve with a volleyball net, but if you're practicing these skills at home, you can also serve against a wall. You don't have a wall? Get your cardio in, imagine that there's a net, serve the ball, chase it down, all that works well. Let's try it out. First, we'll learn the underhand serve. When serving in the game of volleyball, you must stand behind the service line and your foot cannot touch the line at any point during your serve. If you're right-handed, hold the ball in the palm of your left hand out in front of you. Start with your weight on your back foot. Transfer your weight as you take a step forward using your left foot. At the same time, bring your right hand back past your hip and then forward to make contact with the ball from your left hand. Make sure you contact the ball with your hand in a fist and use the heel of your hand and a firm wrist to hit the ball. As you make contact with the ball, drag your toe to keep you balanced. Remember to keep your eyes on the ball. Do not hit the ball using your knuckles. Before you serve, it helps to make a mental picture of where you want to serve the ball and take a breath, then serve confidently. If you fall short, it may be that you need to build up some strength. So practice, practice, practice. Let's try the underhand serve five times. Great use of technique, taking her breath, weight on back leg, shifting the weight forward, a nice swing over the net. Next, we'll learn the overhand serve. Start behind the service line. Hold the ball in your non-dominant hand. For an overhand serve, you are going to toss the ball in the air and make contact with the ball above your head. It is important to have a proper toss. I like to say lift. Consider that you are lifting your palm to the ceiling. That way the toss is more consistent. A majority of the serving errors are due to a poor toss. If you do not have a good toss, let the ball drop to the floor without touching it and try again. The toss is very important. Remember not to toss it too high because that would affect your timing, but toss it just maybe two feet high to get the perfect contact. With the ball in the palm of your non-dominant hand, arm fully extended and in front of your serving hand, Step forward with your non-dominant foot while you toss the ball in the air. Bring your arm forward above your head and make contact with the ball. Follow through after contact has been made. Be sure that your shoulders are pointing in the direction you want the ball to go. Keep your wrists and hands firm through the contact. Finish with a high five and it should sound like a pop. If your arm or wrist is floppy, the result will usually be that the ball will go into the net. Let's try the overhand serve five times.
So serving is a skill that is very difficult and challenging, especially when you're starting out. So make sure you persevere by giving yourself another chance to practice, practice, practice. Believe in yourself and don't give up. So once you've become a more skilled server, you can try out the jump serve. Let's see Coach Mia in full time. <laughs> 